Hi, my name is Aaron Stabell. I'm a drummer, teacher, performer, composer, living in Rochester, New York. I've worked very closely with Jen Beller over the last probably five or so years, working on collaborations, working on premieres, and working on writing for the drum set and the percussion in general since the time that we met. The first time that I met Jen was when I was playing in the Eastman New Jazz Ensemble. And she walked into rehearsal one night and gave the band a piece of music to play that she had written that was both incredibly difficult and incredibly exciting. The band hadn't played anything like it before and at the time they were the reigning Downbeat Magazine Best Collegiate Jazz Ensemble in the United States or the world or whatever they award. So it was a good band and I remember people being completely baffled by the things that Jen wrote but beyond the level of difficulty once everything started to come together it sounded incredible. It was an incredibly fresh sound. It was a different sound than anybody had been hearing for big band writing and when we later found out that it was Jen's first try writing a piece for that instrumentation I think everybody was completely floored because people try for their entire life to write that way and sometimes don't achieve that goal. So I remember going up to her afterwards and saying how great I thought the piece was and saying, you know, maybe there are some things in the percussion part that we might want to write a little differently so people can understand what you're going for better. And that was the beginning of a really rich and fruitful collaboration between Jen and I. She not only edited that part, but we went on to play all kinds of different things that she wrote involving the drum set. Uh, I remember very vividly learning her opera, Christabel, and working for hours on, on that part. Um, she wrote a piece for my solo drum solo project called After Hours. That's one of my favorites to play. She wrote a piece for Wind Ensemble with drum set solo that I got to perform with Mark Scatterday in the Eastman Wind Ensemble. And then a year later on the same stage, we played a piece that she wrote for my jazz quintet and wind ensemble. And the opportunities that I've had through my collaborations with Jen are ones that I never would have had if it weren't for her ideas and her fearlessness and her willingness to take chances on me and take chances on music that nobody has presented anything like before. She's got a knack for knowing exactly when to write specific parts for the drum set and when to allow the drum set player to improvise. I remember clearly after a Christabel rehearsal going up to her and saying like, you know, is that kind of what you wanted? And me thinking that it had gone terribly and her thinking was that it was exactly what she was looking for. I think one of my favorite things about Jen's writing and Jen's personality is that she doesn't put up the typical boxes that people normally create for compositions and for musicians. Um, for her to write, I think, for a jazz ensemble is just as comfortable for her as to write for a wind ensemble or any kind of solo chamber instrument or chamber group. She doesn't seem to say, this is what I do. She seems to do anything. And I think that every time she puts pencil to paper or a finger to computer screen, she comes up with something new and something great and she's got her own language like you can tell it's her music but she knows how to treat the different ensembles and the different performers so that they really can feel comfortable as different and as genre stretching as some of the music I've played with Jen is I've never felt that I didn't understand what she was trying for I've never felt like I didn't know where it was supposed to go. It's always very clear what she's looking for and it's always very, it's well done. It's, it's not only clear what she's going for, but she achieves her goal. She's able to get her point across, I think, very well. I know that playing with Eastman Wind Ensemble and Mark Scatterday conducting, when we played Uprising, things just, came together very naturally. You know, there was no awkward period for the soloist where I 
entered in and you know had difficulty putting things into place it all made a lot of sense and I think that's a testament to what she does as a composer um, the other thing that's so great about Jen is that she's a really great person you know a lot of times you work with composers who are really hung up on the fact that they're the composer and when I did my solo drum set project there were a lot of composers who wrote pieces and I said I, you know I think this may be something we should change or I feel like this is a little too difficult for someone to try to execute and they said you know more or less I'd like to see you try and with Jen and she wrote after hours I remember the first draft coming and it was a great piece but I said you know Jen I think for some people this is going to be kind of a tough you know, it doesn't lay right or it's not really idiomatically appropriate for the drum set. And so we came up with the idea together of sort of just taking the note heads out and just coming up with a contour, with a skeleton. And that's what I play from when I play her piece. And it's so fun because it's completely freeing, but at the same time, she's got some really specific things that she wants to happen. So I can input my say into things, but she's also still got her stamp on it. And I think that that's why I enjoy playing her music because she's always willing to take from what I think makes sense and include that into the process. And I don't know, maybe that's not good to some people, but for me, that's the reason why I'll never say no to, to Jen's pieces because they're always uh, open and she's always willing to listen and give things a try. You know, her, she doesn't have an ego that gets in the way. and. She's a great person to be around too, so there's always that. You know. So I feel like I'm really excited for her to be starting this album project, and I'm thrilled that she's got so much support for it already. And I, I guess my video here is to try to encourage anybody who sees this to give even more support to what she's doing, because it's an old, uh, becoming a cliche at this point, but this is music that deserves to be heard by a wider audience, and I, I think that not only does it deserve to be heard, but it deserves to be played. And I think that by recording this album and getting it out into the general public's ear, I think that once people start to hear this music, they'll want to program it more and more. And I think you'll see a lot more Jed Beller performances in the future. At least that's what I hope. So um, this is me giving my full recommendation to Jen Beller and to her music and to her Indiegogo project. So. Hopefully you can find it in your wallet at this time of year to uh, throw a little support her way. Um, and I hope you enjoy my performance at After Hours. Thanks so much. Good luck, Jack.